This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Let's go! Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, shout out to Trevor. Shout out to Trevor. What is up, guys? We are at SneakerCon Dallas. It is Saturday. I got here super, super late. It opens in like, wow, it opens in 13 minutes. I showed up like, Adam, I got here so late. It opens in 13 minutes. I know. I know. We got here like, probably 30 minutes ago, they yeah. wouldn't let us in. We tried going like through the front, like just going around the front line. The guy was like, you gotta get out of here. You gotta get out of here right now. But yeah, he was like, I don't see anything on you. You gotta get out. We're like, we're like, we're not trying to cause a scene. We're literally just trying to get there. We understand like, but we like have a booth and everything. He's like, well, I don't see nothing. Get out of here. He's like, I asked you three times. If you don't go to back line right now, I'm gonna get urban police to take you out the premise. <laughs> I am super, super excited for this. It is huge. We got all the YouTubers down here. We got Bullet RC. We got CJ. So cool. We got Tony. What's good? What's good? What's going on? Oh, actually, that's the intro of my video. David. Hey, be a friend. I am your friend. Oh, just because I'm tall? Yeah, I'll hang it up. Oh, no. This is going to be crazy, though. I'm really excited to meet all of you guys. Should be a huge show. Like, just the amount of vendors we got here. It's pretty cool. I am going to be picking up at least one pair of sneakers. I want to sort of try and stop my ridiculous spending, but at the same time, I really want to pick up a nice pair of kicks and maybe a second nice pair of kicks as well. So we'll see what happens. I got to get back to the booth, though. We're opening up in, like, literally probably one and a half minutes the door is open for sneaker con this is gonna be awesome my man just bought a pair of dead stock royals 130 130 dollars no, you're, you're not lying to me are you no, I'm not. i feel like he's lying to me. <laughs> and lying. these are real because yeah, i only have like a million pairs i have two pairs of these royals these are the exact same Size smell the same right? look the same 130. He was on drugs. He, the guy who sold these to you was on drugs. You got the way. You got the way. Is your merch selling like a god church? Oh, it's a song. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. Um, what's up, guys? Bro, we need to have a rap battle. Later, later, okay, later, right later, now, later, right later, now, right no, now, no, 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 right no. now. I'll tell y'all one thing. You know what? Booty wishes. You can flow so vicious. Like I'm my rap's delicious. I'm not rap battling. When I shoot, I swish it. I don't want to make. I swim with fishes. All right, you got it. Right. Tony Stark. Yeah. He got stacks on me. Yeah. When I go to the bank. Yeah. Call it a factory. Cause they printed bills. And Clinton is my homie. Shout out. Well, well, shout out to, uh, Ooh, that's my size. Those are awesome. Those are sick. I am in Texas too. Yeah, right? I'm going to AM. I'm going to AM. Are you like a player? Like Johnny Manziel's personal pair. That's you need to advertise it as. That's your clickbait? Is that yeah. where you're at now? Johnny Manziel's personal. I need views, but yes, no, yes. One, no one likes my videos, okay? <laughs> I swear, it's Johnny Mandel's personal pair. You can see the alcohol stains all over it. <laughs> Time for a live panel. We're with David and Christian. Let's go. What are we talking about? What's uh, the... Comfortable, com comfortability. Jordan 1s? Anything. Jordan 1s? Anything. Jordan 1s are the most comfortable shoe ever made. What's up, Harrison? Nothing much. One, two, three. SneakerCon. Seriously, if you guys don't go to SneakerCon, what are you doing with your life? It's it's the best. And what happened next is the perfect example of why you don't vlog on two hours sleep. My mic battery started to cut out, and I just flat out did not notice that my mic battery started to cut out, so I kept on filming. So for the next minute, the audio was going to sound really, really weird, but basically we were just seeing if we could find Yeezys or other like human races or hyped NMDs for 300 bucks. I was looking, the kid was looking, I just, I didn't want to spend a million dollars on shoes and we were seeing like, what can you buy for $300? All right, I'm with my man right here. He has $300 in his pocket and he's like, hey, you want to follow me and see what we can buy for $300? So we're going to follow him and see what we can buy for $300. How much are those? $650. That is not $300. $300, but not his size. I think the goal for this video should be the $300 Yeezy challenge, actually. Can we get Yeezys for $300? Just need to find a really beat up pair of Yeezys and then we're good to go. But I, I do think we could get a pair for $300. Ooh, 480. Getting even closer. Not in your size though. 
So it was at this point that the mic completely died and we actually switched the challenge from a $300 easy challenge to a $500 easy challenge just because I thought that would be easier. Like 300 is ridiculous, you're not going to find anything. So I was like, can I find a pair of size 13 Yeezys for $500 that's not the creams? Because obviously I already have two pairs of those and I don't need a third pair. I was looking for $500 size 13 Yeezys that weren't the creams and that was hard that was really really hard and we spent a lot of time searching and we actually did end up picking up a pair but I also was looking at this ultra boost and I was really considering picking up this color I don't think these are super expensive or super limited or anything like that at all except they are amazing and I really really want to grab a pair of those eventually big fan of the way those look so I will probably be scooping a pair of those but I did get my Yeezys for $500 the mic was completely dead the entire time I did not notice in the slightest and then then I noticed the mic was dead, I unplugged it, and here we are. Well this is great, my mic just died, so if the audio sucks for the rest of the video, it's because my mic's dead. I might, I don't, what's up? Alright, I need to purchase a pair of shoes. ASAP, like SneakerCon is actually like legitimately over right now, and I've not bought anything yet, that's not good. What's up David? Need some words of wisdom from you, how was SneakerCon? Great, actually. It was really good. <laughs> SneakerCon was really, really, really good. It was. Like, it's not done for us now, because now I need to go chill with everyone. Yeah. But just the event, like, all you people that came through, it was sick. Yeah. We, tried to, we tried to buy Yeezys for $300. Really? It didn't work. Did it not? No, the Why? Yeezy challenge failed. I did, though. How much was that? Not. It was over $300. I, I haggled a lot, okay? The Yeezy challenge for $300 is a complete fail. Got no thumb. Uh, uh, I just do it real fast. Uh, uh, pull up, a lot of cash. Uh, Zeke and he mad. Uh, uh, muscles on all that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do you got? Book Eddie, I got nothing, bro. What's up, guys? Uh, like, it's Ray Ray. I'm taller than everybody, so, I'm so I don't mind walking dumb. around with a camera and everyone staring at me because I know hey, I'm taller than them. Make a really uh, cringy face with it. Alright, guys, make sure you subscribe. Wait, 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 wait. We didn't put a red arrow in it yet. Let's try this again. That's better. I want 200,000 views every vlog over. Subscribe me right now. Lil Pooty. L O I P O U I I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah. Pooty, do you want to go spend 36 hours in a Walmart with me? Probably. Like, well, the only problem is, is in the Uber. I have a small one. Well, I don't want to. I, I told him, like, I, I'm. I'm Whew, air conditioning. Oh, my goodness. Whew, wow. So, sneaker con. Was amazing. You know what's not amazing though? I'm stuck out in the in the hallway of my hotel room. I didn't have a key. And then Brandon and Adam went back to the room. We were all playing pool downstairs. By the way, Kais is not a clutch pool player. We were teammates, and he let me down so bad, and we lost. And I had two hundred dollars. I didn't actually have any money on the game. But I'm locked out of my hotel room right now, so I don't know how I'm gonna get in. Hopefully Brandon wakes up. Hopefully Adam wakes up. Until then, I'm locked out of the hotel room. We're leaving super early in the morning tomorrow. SneakerCon Dallas, Dallas in general. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for the hospitality. Hopefully, seriously, hopefully I can get back in. Like, they don't even, like, they're not gonna open. I didn't get back into the hotel room until like four in the morning. This is, this is, might be the worst choppiness of video I've ever had. I, you see, I didn't even know how to talk. My talking is choppy too. Camera died, mic died, got kicked out of my, or got locked out of my hotel room and didn't get back in until 3.30 in the morning. And I didn't have a chance to show you the Yeezys because I needed to pack up right away. But here are the Yeezys. We did complete the $500 Yeezy challenge and you guys are gonna be shocked at the pair of shoes that I was actually able to pick up for $500. You're probably thinking it's a V2 with like the green stripe or the copper stripe. No, I finessed this dude. Oh my goodness. Like I feel bad for paying such a good price because he could have got like $200 extra. These are right now going for $684 on StockX and I got these for $520. I know that's $20 above 500, but let's just say that was sales tax or something. We, we completed the $500 easy challenge as far as I'm concerned. Are you guys ready for these? I don't think you are ready for these. I got the bread Yeezy 350s for $520. Oh my, how nice are freaking these? Yeah. These are amazing. Seriously, thank you all you guys for like buying the t-shirts and all that stuff. That's the reason I'm able to purchase these sneakers. Thank you for all you guys that came across the booth. It was awesome just getting to meet all you guys. But I got the bread Yeezy 350 V2s for $520. And they go for like, on my size on StockX, they go for like $730. So I just, I finessed it. It's 100% legit. I got them legit checked at SneakerCon. They got them legit checked by YouTubers, by SneakerCon guys. So they're 100% good to go legit. I am pumped that I got these. I'm gonna be talking tomorrow about like 
why I think it makes sense, like why these shoes are worth it for me to buy, like why I spent $500, $600, $700 on pairs of shoes and why it's worth it for me personally. Tomorrow we're gonna be talking about that, but I'm just very happy that I was able to succeed the $500 Yeezy Challenge. If you guys wanna do a sneaker con challenge, definitely come through to LA or Melbourne or Atlanta or Houston or whichever one you guys are gonna be at, they're going all over the place and come through whether it's a $100 challenge, a $200 challenge, and just tweet me the video. I'd love to see that type of stuff. I love those videos. I'm gonna be back tomorrow with a brand new video. If you're still watching to this point of the video, comment $500 Yeezy Challenge is dumb lit or comment black and red Yeezys are dumb lit down in the comment section below so I know that you watched the end of the video and that you support the channel. I'll be back tomorrow with a brand new video though. Let me know what you think of the Yeezys and until tomorrow, peace.